announced the acquisition of Aramis Ramirez and um, felt like he was a good addition to our club, come in and, and stabilize third base for us for a while. Um, we like what he's done offensively, obviously has a, a great career track record and has swung the bat and been a very effective major league hitter for his career. Uh, but also the last six weeks, eight weeks, uh, he's been swinging the bat very well for a tough start. Question. You know, when did you start to zero in on Aramis and how quickly did this, this deal come together? You know, the, the, the trade deadline process starts probably way before most people realize in terms of just conversations about who might be available, uh, what might be the acquisition cost, um, you know, the, the, the injuries uh, to Jordy and, and uh, to Josh uh, help clarify some things, uh, I think, for, for most everyone. Uh, our goal going into every trade deadline is to just find ways to make the club better. And uh, with the two injuries, it, it became a little bit easier to make the club better, and, and uh, at least on paper. And we feel fortunate that we're able to do that uh, in our minds uh, in the real world. Anything about maybe the potential Harrison timeline that really necessitated this? No, uh, the fact that we've got two players that are probably out for a large chunk of time um, is what really pushed us into action here. Um, you know, we were fine losing one when we lost the second. It, it made it a challenge. Uh, both guys are on track to be back and be healthy. The challenge is we have a lot of baseball games to be played between now and, and when the first one's supposed to be back. So uh, we wanted to continue to put this team in a position to compete for playoffs and, and uh, compete for the playoffs and compete for a World Series championship. And uh, if and when we have too many good players, that would be a great thing for us. Neil, uh, I know there's always a debate whether there's a clutch, such thing as a clutch hitter, but his numbers have been consistently good at runners in scoring position throughout. 17 years. Did that factor into it too a little bit to be able to bring a proven run producer in and you know, kind of raise? Yeah, we felt that uh, that this was a legitimate major league bat that, that would come in here and, and wherever Clint wants to put him in the lineup, uh, he can do some damage for us, um, be a threat, and, and provide some protection. And, and that was uh, that was important for us as, as we were looking at uh, how to prioritize the acquisition attributes that we were looking for. Um, the fact that he is a proven major league hitter and the fact that he's swinging the bat well now, uh, both those things played a part of it. Is he a when do you expect that he'll join the team? Uh, in, in conversations with him, uh, there the Brewers are in Arizona. Um, he's getting from Arizona to Milwaukee, hopefully tomorrow, and then looking to join us on Saturday. Will he be able to work in your defensive model as far as shifts are concerned? You throw him on the right side of the infield in a shift? Um, you know, we'll, we'll work through each guy's strengths, and, and uh, uh, it was one of the beautiful parts about Jordy and Josh and, and, and Gon with, with the flexibility and versatility. They can basically go anywhere. Um, uh, again, Clint and Nick uh, will work through with the Ramos what he's comfortable with and what he isn't, and they'll do a great job of putting him in a position to be successful.